Hey everyone, and welcome back to a very, very impromptu episode of How to Not Suck at Teaching Music. As you can see, I'm coming to you today from the Barnegat Bay down at Long Beach Island. So I was just thinking about this recently and talking about it with some people. Okay. We need to stop lying to our students. And what exactly do I mean by lying to our students? Well, I mean, we need to stop saying good job when they might not have done a good job. Now, this is not some whiplash stuff I'm not saying that it's not good to compliment kids or it's not good to tell them they're doing good if they're doing good. And it's, I'm not saying we need to sit here and go up to every kid that plays a wrong note and tell them how bad they are. That's not what I'm saying. So take that out of there right now. What I am saying is that the reason why we teach is to help inspire and to instruct students. And on the instructional side, it does them more harm than good to continually tell them what they're doing is correct if it's not actually correct, okay? So what I mean by that is, you know, if someone is in a lesson or in a rehearsal where they are, they being the student, they are expecting the teacher to fix problems and to help them, you know, get better at whatever they're doing, in this case music, if they play something wrong or they they don't quite get it right, to just always say, great, good job, is detrimental to their learning. Now, if they actually did try really hard and just didn't get it, say, hey, you know, I would say, hey, I see that you tried really hard, I appreciate your effort, um, but the result wasn't there, here's why the result wasn't there, here's how you can make the result what you want, in the future, that's how you teach. Because I do come at, come at it from a student-centered point of view in that I'm teaching because the student wants to get better or is hoping to get better, not because I want them to get better. Now, obviously, I do want them to get better, but um, it's not about me when I teach, and that goes back to ego. And you can check out, I believe that was my first episode. Uh, you can check that out right up there. This is not anything new. This is not anything that a lot of you don't already know, but what I see is when students continually um, do something wrong or they sound a certain way, when we always congratulate them, they're gonna think, oh, that's the way to do it. Um, and a lot of times that's not the way to do it. Uh, I'm not saying you should walk up to random people at a concert and say, you played this like crap, you suck. That's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. Once again, don't take this out of context. What I'm saying is I've seen way too many times people let things slide because they are afraid or they are unable to or they just don't want to tell the student that they played something wrong for fear of them getting upset or the parents getting upset. And trust me, I get it, I get it. Um, how's it going? I'm big in analogies. So if I'm a driving instructor, I'm teaching someone how to drive a car, okay? And they run a red light. All right, they run a red light. And I say, hey, great job, good lesson today, see you next week or whatever. That would be irresponsible. Now, because driving a car has a lot worse consequences than playing a scale wrong or something like that, it's much easier in, to visualize it in the context of a driving lesson. And by the way, before you get on me about talking to a camera while I'm on the boat, first of all, I'm not 100% looking at the camera, that's what the sunglasses were. Second of all, I'm going about two miles an hour right now, so, you know, give me a break. You know, it's, it's one of the reasons why a lot of young musicians fail and a lot of mus young musicians don't sound like other musicians. They want to. Wow, I want to sound like that band. I want to sound like that musician. They probably practice nine hours a day. They probably have eight hours of rehearsal a day or blah, blah, blah. No, it's that they probably had or have teachers that instruct them the correct way. Teachers matter a lot. You know, students can pick up a lot of things. And if 
you come at it from the point of view of, hey, I'm the teacher, so my job is to get you better, so let's get better together. Let me show you ways to get better. You know, the student will then, hopefully, more times than not, will see that, oh, this teacher's not being a jerk when they tell me I play something wrong. They're just trying to help me and they're trying to tell me the right way. If a kid goes, hey, should I touch a hot stove? And I'm like, yeah, whatever you want. That would be irresponsible. Now, hey, they would learn real quick not to touch a hot stove, but I'm gonna correct those improper actions before they happen. You know, if a kid comes up to me and says, hey, I practiced this, is this good technique or whatever? And if it's right, I'll say yes. If it's not, I'll say, well, no, that's probably not the best way to do it. Here's a better way or here's a more efficient way to do it. Blah, 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 going forward. And, you know, it's, it's sad to see when so many teachers, you know, try to not offend anybody by saying they do something wrong. And, and saying someone does something wrong is not anything to be offended by. When I was a student, when a teacher told me I was doing something wrong, they told me, hey, you're doing it this way. You should do it this way. You'll get a better outcome this way. You'll like it more. You know, it's that good, fun work, equilateral triangle. You want to be good? Well, put in more work, you'll get better, get good, and you'll have more fun doing it. And trust me, my students, 100% of the time, have more fun when they're doing well, when they're sounding good, when they've accomplished something. And it's us, as teachers, it's our job to guide them along the way. It's not our job to just say, hey, great job. Now, should we point out when they do a great job? Absolutely. Should we point out when they try hard? Absolutely. Um, And I'm not saying come at it, once again, not saying come at it with a negative point of view of if you don't play perfectly, you're terrible. It's not that. It's, hey, you know what? I'm going to not lie to you. On the concept of not lying, when you establish this relationship with the students, when you do compliment them, it means so much more. I've had students complain about other teachers to me that when they say, they're like, oh, They always say, good job, no matter if I get 100 or I get a 50 on the test or whatever. And the students know that there's teachers out there who will just say, hey, great job, no matter what. Or there's teachers who are on the other side who say, nothing's good enough, everything's bad. So both aren't great, okay? Build that relationship and when you build that trust in the student that, hey, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm here to get you better. I'm here to inspire you. I'm here to build you up in a positive way. That when you do say, hey, you know what? Six months ago, you couldn't play this at all, and now you rip right through it. It's gonna mean so much to them. And those of you out there that have taken lessons and have been in bands or have done anything, not even musically, you've done anything, and when you finally get it and somebody recognizes that you did put in the work to get it, that's a great feeling. And it's not only great for you to feel it for a self-satisfaction, but when the teacher notices it or the person that has been instructing you or the person that really knows what they're talking about says, hey, you did a great job and you know they mean it, that's that's a really cool thing. This goes beyond just teaching as well. This goes, you know, in just circles of musicians like, hey man, kill in solo. Hey man, sound great. You know, I, the people who say that, if you're not sounding great, are either trying to, once again, be way too nice or they're trying to get a gig from you or something or whatever. And, and I'm not saying you, you should go to a jam session or gig and go up to everybody and tell them they're bad. But don't randomly just go up to every single person there. I've always, I've seen that person too. That goes to every single person there. Man, you sound killing. Man, you sound killing. Man, you sound killing. When you see that, when they say it to the person who's a professional and they say it to the person who just started playing last week, it starts to lose its meaning. Just like when a teacher tells every single student, hey, you're doing great. Wow, you're doing great. Wow, you're doing great. When If you're the kid who's sitting there trying their hardest and doing great and you see this other kid who doesn't care at all and is purposely playing wrong notes and they're being told they do great, what? how does that... How's that make you feel? That wouldn't make me feel pretty good. So that's just a quick little video as I'm out here enjoying some of the, oh, it was nice weather. It's overcast, but it's warm. Let's get some views before I uh, end this video. All right, I think it's a good time to end it back in the lagoon now. I hope you found this video not informative, but I hope you found it um, helpful in some way. And uh, hopefully if you are one of those teachers who is the constant good jobber, just maybe rethink 
what you're teaching them and what, what they're getting from you. Um, and hey, if I'm completely wrong, let me know as well. And if I'm right, uh, let me know too. <laughs> so if there is a video idea that you guys have about how to not suck at teaching music, please let me know in the comments below. I have a lot of uh, video ideas ready, and just ideas on teaching in general. Um, but if there's something very specific that you want to see, you want to hear me talk about, please let me know. Other than that, please browse my channel and subscribe. It's completely free and it keeps you updated on all my videos that are going on. Plus it helps me out. I would really appreciate that. Thanks for watching. See you at the next video.